Sir Gibb. Thank you very much. Sorry it's a little difficult for me to come up here this evening, and so sorry about the crutches and I'm hobbling around. But you know, what I really want to say tonight is something that over the last year has become very clear to me. This story about Jerry Sandusky is one of a lot of missed opportunities. Really a terrible story in many ways. It has a lot of avenues we could talk about, a lot of issues within this story, and they're all really horrible, uh, unfortunately. It's really a story about a, a culture, uh, a university that didn't always do the right thing, uh, people who didn't always do the right thing, a charity that absolutely failed the people it was trying to help. It's about a, a story about child welfare, failing its children. Really, you could talk, I could stand up here for an hour and talk about the failures in this case and really all of the horrible things. But like I said, in the last year, it's become very clear to me that there is some good in this story too. And one of the good things that, that became clear right away was the amount of awareness that it brought. Um, you know, there, there are horrible stories like this all the time. There are pedophiles everywhere in every community. Penn State is in no way isolated to that. But this story really penetrated people's homes. There is now a ton of legislation that did not exist a year ago today because of the Jerry Sandusky case. Uh, there's been countless parents and coaches talk to me about how they're having discussions with their young children for the first day of Little League or the first day of football practice. Uh, about what to do if something bad happens. And those discussions weren't, aren't, they're not fun. They're not fun conversations. And parents weren't having them before, but they're having them now. And they tell me that all the time. Uh, there's events like this uh, that get a lot, a lot more press, unfortunately, but a lot more press in a good way because of what happened. It's being talked about in locker rooms, and everyone knows that's a huge, huge step forward because this issue is fought almost always with awareness and with education. And that's what tonight's about, and that's what Lauren's Kids is about. And that's why I'm really very honored that Lauren chose me to receive this award tonight because she does such a great job and has done such a great job in such a short amount of time to bring awareness. And awareness is really, um, it's the big thing. That's the way that we combat this the best. We're not going to be able to eradicate this. Um, there are bad people out there, and it's very clear, it's become very clear to me when you really delve into the mind of a person who's a pedophile, they, there is no cure, they cannot be healed. What we can do is try to protect ourselves and our kids. And again, that's what Lauren is about, and that's why I am very honored, because our work clearly did bring awareness, and her work has done a great deal to bring awareness. And I hope that everyone in this room can take that message and move, move on with that tonight. Clearly, um, you guys are all uh, on that page. You guys are all in accepting of that, and that's really a good thing to see tonight. But um, please, that's the one thing you know. I hope that everyone can take from this, is to keep talking about it. Talking is the best thing that we can do. So thank you. Right here, looking this way, great big smile, a couple more.